Hey, what's going on guys? It's IT Tech Reviews here and today we will be reviewing an application called Nova Launcher. I have the pro version. I bought it for 25 cents when it was on sale a week or so ago. So I'm using this as my default launcher now and I'll be showing you some of the settings and features that this application has versus uh, the regular launcher. So desktop, home screen, wallpapers, you get to choose grid size for apps, widgets on the desk top, so how many rows and how many columns you want, so kind of gives you the size of the icon. You could uh, choose, I don't even know what the width margin really is, oh I guess the side here, I'm not really sure. We have none right now. Um, there's the search bars, search and voice on all home screens. Then you get to cho choose a style of the Google, or you could choose a 4.0 ice cream sandwich, or you could use the default jelly bean one. Um, there's a whole bunch of scrolling option, uh, quantity of screens, how you, you could think oh you can't yeah you could drag them around and rearrange them now I can't put mine back there we go so this one was up here I think there we go so you could kind of shuffle around I think this is a plus oh you could just keep adding this is the maximum amount of screens we don't really need this many but just for the hell of the, uh, the review, we will, we could remove them after. Oh, so we have exited the settings. Um, so we'll go back and finish looking in there. This is going to be a pretty long review because there's a lot to cover here. There is a scrolling effect between home screens. So you could choose through a whole bunch of these. Um, wallpaper scrolling, infinite scroll. So if you... Um, swipe will just keep going until you place your finger back on the screen and it'll stop. Then we have icons, uh, resize all widgets. That's actually a really cool feature of the application. Um, I will show you with this uh, weather one. So we'll just drag it to the other side here. And you could actually hold it and resize. You could just can make this one take up the whole screen it's not necessary but um, it's pretty cool so we will put it back into this small size because we want to move it over whoa 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 Can it wait? Whoa, we went a little too far over. There we go. It's back in place, it fits nicely there. I like to check the weather quickly before I leave the school. Um, so I'm going back to Nova settings. We were still on desktop, so you could overlap icons when placing them. I could show you that quickly. So we got Mass Effect here. I don't know why we have two icons of them, but you could just put it on top of the other one. It's kind of kind of hides the icon. Just pretty cool. Well, we'll remove this. Yeah. So. Good. We're starting over launchers. Say thank you to them. No thanks. Um, oh, we weren't even in the. Now we're gonna go into drawer. Scroll effects. There's background transparency, which is pretty cool. If you set it like this, and you want to go back. And right here, you have a more transparent. You can't really see it because I said my background 
to black. Uh, I don't know, I really like black backgrounds. I could see everything nicely. So I prefer that. There's a horizontal, the drawer style, widgets in drawer. You can hide apps. I'm not really sure what this is. Oh, you could hide apps. And then I guess unhide them if you don't want someone knowing you have some kind of application or something. Dock. Uh, still a bunch of settings for docks. Don't really use any of them anyways. Look and feel. There's a color theme that you could set. I just used the default one I played around with yesterday. And then you have an icon theme. Screen orientation. Scroll speed, animation speed, app animation, folder preview. Uh, they're like, you could choose from stack, grid, or fan, which is pretty cool. Um, folder, background, you could choose from like the background that it has. You can make actually a custom one too. Oh, you could import one. That's cool. Um, gestures and buttons. This is actually a really cool thing I noticed. Like, uh, there are a whole bunch of, um, well, not too many, but you could swipe different uh, ways to open stuff, rotate stuff. I could show you, look, two fingers swipe downward. We'll open the app drawer or whatever it's called. Um, unread counts. Don't really know what this is. Whatever. I guess it's for Gmail. I don't know. Um, backup, backup, and import. Self-explanatory. Um, then here you could set which launcher you want it. If you want to use the regular one, Nova Launcher. You can select always, or you could select the regular launcher as always um, error usage reports you could just there and yeah that's pretty much it so that's Nova settings it's actually a pretty pretty cool application um, it's, uh, it's nice it's nice uh, there were actually a couple other things that they were useful in it but I'll mention them again in another video so thanks for watching guys and please give me a like and subscribe and check out my other previous videos. Thanks. Bye.